Hey there YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Mikey speaking. Wanted to give you an update on my TradeStation account and I'm sorry about the last two days, Thursday and Friday was very hard for me to record while traveling through the mountains. I did do some trading and re basically bought and sold a few stocks. Now I'm back home so I'm going to be making a video every day again on my trade station and come up with a better plan to record while I'm traveling. I've already bought some assets to hopefully help with that. But let's go into the bloody 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 stock market and show you basically what I ended up buying and selling and how much I'm down in this market and my plan as well. So this is the bloody bloody stock market. As you can already see we are everything's red. Like <laughs> you just see blood everywhere. For whatever reason, AT&T decided to say, fuck you, I'm just going to keep going up. Sorry for the language, which is very interesting. But everything else, if you look at my positions, I ended up selling out of jets. I sold out of quite a few different positions to make room for Tesla because I saw Tesla dropping. I did not know the market was going to do all this, though. If I did, I would have bought at better prices. But... If you look here, I'm down $745 on the stocks I'm holding, which is Tesla, Lemonade, LICY, Lifecycle, and Hood. And I ended up, let's see if it will pull up. I know I sold AT&T, Boeing, EXPI, and Jets. I ended up selling quite a few different stocks to make room for Tesla as it was dropping. And again, like I said, had I known the market was going to go down, I would have just waited. I'm in Tesla at about 780 or no, sorry, 1081. And it almost dropped down to a thousand where I thought that's my price. That's where I wanted to hold long around a thousand dollars, preferably at a thousand dollars. Exactly. And it bounced right off a thousand dollars to 108. My plan for all the stocks I'm holding during this bloody time is I'm not going to sell anything. I repositioned some of my stocks, but I'm still going to be in full value into the market. If I can buy more, I will. If I can't, then I'll just hold my hands on this account or sit on my hands, I guess is a better way to say it. So I'll just sit on my hands on this account. I do have cash in case I do have a margin call to cover that margin call. I don't want to do that because I want to leave this at my $5,000 account growing, which is currently at $4,821. Again, being down over $700. <sighs> that hurts to even say. But my plan is to just hold on to these stocks for as long as possible. I know the market's going to recover. And what I'm going to do in my other accounts is I'm actually going to pull margin from those accounts as well and start buying even more stocks. Some of the stocks I'm going to start buying at these prices are going to be definitely Robinhood, LICY, definitely putting that in all my stocks. Amazon as it's dropping to 33. I love Amazon at 3300. Disney. Let's check Disney's price really quick because Disney was already taking a hit. Do, do, do. Disney at 146. So that's not too. Oh, wow. Okay, it was at 160. Now it's at 146. I am okay yeah no that's already been the price so I was mistaken so Disney's already taken a hit but I am still buying more of them let's see Google really quick Google if it touches 27 I'm buying that one up that one kind of recovered it's not taking a hit as some of these other ones like Tesla that gives you a general idea of how my stock accounts are looking right now or my stock account down 700 bucks and I may be down even more tomorrow. My plan is keep buying though. In this account, I won't be able to buy any more unfortunately, which I wish I could, but I don't want to deposit any more money into this account unless I have to. So I'm about $4,000 in margin, which I can deposit if I need to. I'm just going to leave it at this because who knows, Monday or Tuesday, it may rebound completely or it may drop more. So I'm going to play it by ear, see how it goes, and then if I need to, I'll deposit more money to, that way I don't get a margin call. But in my other accounts, this is why I have multiple accounts. In my M1 Finance account, I have plenty of money in there that I can just sit here and start buying more stocks. So I'm going to buy about one to $2,000 Monday morning in my M1 Finance account. And in my crypto account, my Coinbase, I'm going to buy about another $200. This weekend alone, I want to say I bought about $600 of crypto, like Ethereum, Bitcoin, Algo, Crow, CRO. 
I bought those as things are dropping because I want to take advantage of this. This is a perfect moment where you can get 10, 15, 20% returns or more being patient, not going into margin or having money to cover that margin just in case. And that's always my thing. If you stay out of margin, you can play the market, whether it's going up or down. And if you do use margin, like I do, at least I have the money sitting aside to pay that off. And then you don't mind just sitting on your hands and watching these companies recover and go even higher. The key to that is buy companies that you believe in. And that's all I'm going to keep doing. Hopefully Monday's better. I hope you're not struggling too much or freaking out about the market too much. Just make a plan, stick to your plan, and go on your day. <laughs> Anyways, until the next video, I hope you have a good one. Bye.